Today I'm going to show you how to pair your Android phone to the V-Line. Um, if you are pairing a new phone, you need to clear out some old devices. This will be applicable for a ton of different scenarios. I'll just kind of show you the best practices for pairing your Android phone. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure you're paired to the factory Bluetooth in the vehicle. And for the factory Bluetooth, this one is called hands-free. So I'm already paired to it. When you select hands-free, you want phone calls only. If it has the option for audio or media, make sure you turn it off. Okay, now that we're paired to that, uh, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our previously saved devices and we're gonna go to VLINE and we're gonna forget it. And then the next step I will do is I'll just go into my phone settings. I'll search settings for Android Auto. All right, previously connected cars. We got a V-Line. We're just going to swipe it and it will erase the phone from your previously paired queue in your Android Auto settings. All right, so we should be done for the meantime there. Now we're gonna go up to the V-Line, go to the second page. Um, now, if this is your initial pair, you could just go to Android Auto and go straight into the next portion of steps I'll show you. Um, when your phone pops up down here and you connect to it. But first I'm gonna show you if you are trying to pair to it, uh, if your phone's kind of being problematic or you need to clear out some of the old devices before moving on, how to do so. So you're on the V-Line home screen, you're gonna go to the second page by pressing the two dots. You're gonna go to settings, go to your network and internet. There's three dots in the upper right. Reset Wi-Fi Mobile Bluetooth. It's gonna give you two messages. You're just gonna confirm you want to do that. After it's been reset, you press the back button up here. One, two, three times. Scroll to the very last option by pressing the triangle that's downward right here. You could also use your touch screen if you'd like. I prefer the arrows just so I don't touch stuff on accident. System, feline system updates. That'll be the fifth one down. And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom where it says Reboot V-Line. During this time, I'm going to restart my phone. All right, so my phone's been restarted. I'm connected to the hands-free still of the vehicle. That's the factory Bluetooth for calls only. Then from there, we're going to go to the first page Android Auto. If it's grayed out, just press it. You're going to go to the bottom with this downward arrow here. Find your phone. Mine's the Pixel 7 Pro. We'll get a pairing code on both devices and we're gonna allow access. Now at first it'll say connecting next to your phone. And then after it goes to connecting, it's gonna say waiting for Android Auto UI. And it's gonna go up into setup. You continue the setup process on the screen. And there you have Android Auto. 